episode 8 of No Time for Trivia. I'm your host, Justin Cohn. We've got 10 questions of general knowledge trivia coming right up now. Let's do it. Question 1. What is the largest body of fresh water in the world by surface area? What is the largest body of fresh water in the world by surface area? Lake Superior. Lake Superior, on the border between Canada and the U.S., has an area covering over 82,000 square kilometers. And in case you're curious, the largest lake by volume and depth is Lake Baikal, located in Siberia. Question 2. What group was Ringo Starr with before the Beatles? What group was Ringo Starr with before the Beatles. Rory Storm and the Hurricanes. Ringo quit Rory Storm and the Hurricanes when he was asked to join the Beatles in 1962, replacing Pete Best. Poor Pete Best. Question three. When the Corvette was first introduced in 1953, it was only available in what color? When the Corvette was released in 1953, it was only available in what color? White, specifically polo white with a sportsman red interior. White exterior, red interior, classy. Only 300 Corvettes were produced in 1953 and they were priced at around like $3,500. In 2006, incidentally, the third of those Corvettes sold for $1.06 million at auction. Wow, good return on your investment, person, whoever that was. Question four. How did police identify criminals before fingerprinting? How did police identify criminals before fingerprinting? using the Bertillon system, or Bertillonage, as it was sometimes called. Developed by French anthropologist Alphonse Bertillon in 1879, the system described individuals using photographs and measurements of specific physical characteristics. Question five. Which poisonous concoction was Socrates given to drink to carry out his death sentence? Which poisonous concoction did Socrates drink to carry out his death sentence? Poison hemlock. As punishment for impiety in corrupting the minds of the young men of Athens, an infusion of poison hemlock was made for Socrates to drink in 399 BC. Question 6. What popular sport did James Naismith invent? What popular sport did James Naismith invent? Basketball. Basketball. After moving to the United States from Canada, James Naismith wrote the original basketball rule book in 1891. In, in addition to basketball, he is credited with inventing the protective helmet for football players. What an interesting man. Question 7. In Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, what is Juliet's surname? In Romeo and Juliet, what is Juliet's surname? Capulet. Capulet. The star-crossed lovers' names were Romeo Montague and Juliet Capulet. Question 8. What were the New England Patriots named prior to the 1971 season? What were the New England Patriots named prior to the 1971 season? The Boston Patriots. Boston Patriots. In 1971, the Patriots moved into a new stadium built on land granted by the Bay State Raceway. The team was renamed the New England Patriots to reflect its new location. The original choice, Bay State Patriots, was rejected by the NFL. Question 9. What Philadelphian R&B group spent over 50 cumulative weeks atop the Billboard Hot 100 charts 
with their emotional ballads and a cappella harmonies. What Philadelphian R&B group spent 50 cumulative weeks atop the Billboard Hot 100 charts with their emotional ballads and a cappella harmonies? Boys to Men. Boys to Men, the members of Boys to Men grew up in separate neighborhoods of Philadelphia and came together as high school friends at the Philadelphia High School for the Performing Arts, where they studied classical music and vocal arts. Question 10. ATP is the molecular unit of energy that gives our body fuel on a cellular level. What does ATP stand for? ATP, the molecular unit of energy, gives our body fuel at the cellular level. What does ATP stand for? Adenosine triphosphate. Adenosine triphosphate. ATP acts as a cell storehouse of energy. It enables cells to store energy safely in small packets and release the energy for use only when needed. That is it, by the way. That was the last question. Do you have an idea for a question or maybe something you want to tell me about this show? Well, cool. Contact me at hello at no time for trivia.com. And if we select one of your questions, uh, we'll give you a shout out on the show. Thanks for listening to No Time for Trivia. Please subscribe and leave a like five star review on Apple Podcasts. That's a huge help. This is Justin Cohn reminding you that just showing up is 80% of success. The other 50% is masked.